Hey, Mark. Hey, Jeff. Oh, you're behind me now. Holy crap. Okay, that's it. Try again. Hey, Mark. Hey, Jeff. How are you doing? Well, hey, everything not only different. is it hot, yeah. but it started raining on us. So, uh -huh. what what have you brought us today? So, today... Now we're in the front yard. Now we're in the front yard. So, now we have to deal with the sun again. Hopefully, it doesn't go behind too many clouds and screw this whole thing up. Well, that very uh, famous father and son team, Pepin and Jaime Garcia, made a, uh, it's a, it's the My Father cigar. This happens to be a Fonesca Robusto Edition MX that I brought today. MX, huh? MX. Uh, sounds sounds uh, like a Roman numeral to me. Yeah, which is? It's a Roman numeral to me. 60. It's a Roman numeral. M is 50. I don't get into Roman numerals. Ah, okay. I don't want to offend people like the Last Supper stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like on the... Uh, I'm not getting a vote. So we'll take off... Oh, it's very pretty. We'll take off the cedar sleeve. Dark brown. Seamless. I mean, the seams are very flat. Rolled well. Yeah. Very pretty label. It's supposed to be a uh, it's really hot up here. To full it's really body. hot up here. Yes, it is. There's no wind. No, not at all. There's okay. No way to get wind here. So and where's it's got it? A, uh, it's got a San Andreas wrapper. Okay. And then it's got uh, a Nicaraguan binder and a Nicaraguan filler, both from the Garcia Farms. From Nicaragua. From Nicaragua. Sweet. Hand rolled in a steli. Nicaragua to be exact. Yeah. So it's like this and a steli? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try this? Yes. Quickly, and it's hot. <laughs> we'll get right back to you. See you in a bit. Right. Hey, Mark. Jeff, we're back. We're back. And we'll see how the lighting screws us this time. So, <laughs> It'll be awesome. Oh, this is the uh, pains of having so, a uh, cigar review I, channel. I, I can say order. that my father would not have smoked this cigar. No, this wasn't top on your list. So, huh? let, let me, since you bought it, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Is uh, I had uh, the taste of coffee, almonds, pepper, more pepper, and a lot more pepper. And it was weird. A lot of the times I was getting this burning, a burnt taste, like burnt food on the outside of my tongue. So overall, the taste was not overly pleasant. Oh, wow. The, uh, Maybe it was something you ate for lunch? No, I had a corned beef sandwich. It was pretty oh, good. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, gray Poupon. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. Thank you. Uh, the ash. Yes. I think it's over here. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Yes. Uh, very light, gorgeous ash. Light gray, very smooth, relatively even burn. I mean, it's a well-made cigar. I think the construction was pretty good. Well, you've so always told me you like a good ash. Not, not context. Oh, okay. All but, right. But, you know, thank you for bringing the show down to that level. <laughs> Make the show great again. <laughs> okay. Yes, I got this from the Florida Gun Show. Nice. Because where else would you buy this? And it was for the last election. I don't have any new ones. Oh, okay. They were on sale after the election. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think of it? So I thought that, yeah, there was a lot of pepper for sure. Um, I got a dark espresso. I got uh, some kind of nuts. Is it, I'm not a coffee guy. Yeah. Is there something... Uh, other than a dark espresso? I mean, is there a light espresso? Yes, there is, in fact. Okay. Like a blonde espresso. Who? Okay, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> it's how they filter the beans. Yeah, I'm sure so, it is. Yes. Yeah. That's great. But, yeah, it had dark espresso. Um, I mean, it's, it's getting bitter now that I'm getting near the last third of the stick. So it's, uh, it, was, it was okay. I didn't... Uh, you're, you're yelling again with an sorry. echo. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I didn't like the, it as much. The as audio guy is going to be smoked. upset. Oh, yeah, I'll bet he is. Yeah, wait till you see what he does with your voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you sound like Mickey, a castrated Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, no. That's regular Mickey Mouse. Oh, okay. It gets worse. <laughs> so let's go over the numbers. Let's. I gave it a nine for appearance. You gave it an eight. Okay. I gave it an eight, and you gave it an eight for construction. 
Ah, okay. Seven for me smell, six for you smell. Okay. My burn, I gave a nine. I mean, it, it just, it did. It burned really well. You gave it a six. Yeah. Taste, I gave it a six. You gave it a seven. Okay. So I gave it a 39. You gave it a 35 for an average of a 37. Oh, okay. So, so if you're, you know, if you want to give it a try, go yeah, ahead. If you want I, an overly peppery cigar. Oh. Well, but you know, I like, I like smoking a lot of, a, a pretty broad range of different kinds of cigars. You smoke a lot of broad? No, not not necessarily. Within a range? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So this show it's has worth it. gone it's down worth the it. toilet quickly. Hope, <laughs> hopefully we'll be back under the umbrella Flush. next time because <laughs> the echo up here is going to be fun also. Oh and we'll God. catch up to you next time for another Three Schmoes and a Shot Cigar Review. You betcha. Peace out. Peace out. Do you? Here's to you, Kamala. <laughs>